Hello, everybody, and welcome to your linear algebra review on the determinants of two by two matrices. My name is Jason, and I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. Um, now, what is a matrix? Well, what is a determinant of a matrix? My bad. Um, well, all square matrices, square, they have to be square. So two by two, three by three, four by four, 87 by 87. They can't be, so, so the number of columns and the number of rows have to be equal. All square matrices have a determinant. And a determinant is essentially just a, a special number associated with your matrix. And we'll go over exactly how to calculate this number. Now, if now the determinant is used for a plethora of things, uh, an insane amount of things uh, the determinant is used for. In particular, though, we're going to talk about singular and non-singular matrices today. So a non-singular matrix, non-singular, means that the determinant is not zero. So as long as once you calculate the determinant, it is not zero, your matrix is non-singular, which means it is invertible. If it's non-singular, it is invertible, so it has an inverse. So the only matrices that have inverses are ones with non-zero determinant. And then the other case is singular matrix, and you can probably guess um, what all this is. The determinant is zero, and this means it is non-invertible. So you cannot take the inverse of these matrices, right? Remember, not all square matrices are invertible. And now we have a characterization. Now we know exactly which ones are invertible and which ones are not. The ones that have non-zero determinant are invertible. The ones that have zero determinant are non-invertible. Okay, cool. So let's go over how to calculate the determinant. So for two by two matrices, there's a nice formula for it. For three by three, four by four and above, it gets a little trickier and we'll, we'll talk about three by three determinants in the next video. But for a two by two matrix, so if your matrix looks like A, B, C, D, let's call that matrix A. Now there are a couple ways we can denote the determinant. Um, either we can write it as determinant of A or you'll also see sort of like these straight lines around the edge of, uh, of your matrix. Both of these mean calculate the determinant. And how you do it for a two by two matrix is this nifty equation. So you take the top left times the bottom right minus the top right times the bottom left. I always think about it as like an X, right? You do AD minus BC. It makes like a little X, AD minus BC. Know this, know this in the core of your being. This is an important formula, an incredibly important formula for calculating the determinant, okay? Because all the, the higher order ones, like a three by three matrix and a four by four matrix, there's a bunch of fancy stuff you have to do, but it always distills down to calculating a two by two matrix somehow, okay? So the determinant is AD minus BC. Let's see it in action. So for this first one, we wanna calculate the determinant of A So it would be A, D, top left times bottom right, minus B, C, top right minus, times bottom left. So we get three minus two, which is one. Now one is non-zero, therefore our matrix is non-singular, which means it is invertible. Non-singular means invertible. Singular means non-invertible. It's kind of confusing, I know. Cool. Uh, next one, we're trying to calculate the determinant of B. And again, I'm using these two different notations. It, they mean the same thing. I'm just using them so you're aware that there are two separate notations that are commonly used. So we're trying to calculate the determinant of the matrix uh, negative three, nine, two, negative six. So we do negative three times negative six minus nine times two, which is 18 minus 18, which is zero. Because it equals zero, that tells us it is singular. Okay. Let's 
Let's go ahead and calculate it for this one. The determinant of C would be one times four minus eight times negative two. So that's four plus 16, which is 20. This is not zero, so it is non-singular, which means it's invertible. And then part D, uh, trying to calculate the determinant of D, which would be five times negative five minus six times negative four. So we get negative 25 plus 24, which is negative one. Again, this is non-zero, so it is non-singular. That is how you calculate the determinant of a two by two matrix. It's AD minus BC. Know that formula, like the back of your hand, all right? Cool, uh, well, thank you for joining me. As I mentioned at the beginning, I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. If you want more information about the tutoring services we have available at uh, all four major ASU campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu. If you want specifically more videos like this that go over uh, concepts from your class, or maybe you want to see what upcoming review sessions we have for the exams in your class, go ahead and check out this bottom link down here. Uh, thank you all again, and have a fantastic day.